Okay, my friends, I, I, I did get a little carried away with the rest of this video. It's a little annoying that nobody's paying in, in, attention to what is just absolutely certain. You know, this is red light, just red light from a pulsed red laser. Rod Warren and I did some work trying to find if there was any life inside of light, because that's all they talk about is life inside of light. So anyway, we doing these experiments. Rod came up with a single slit Venturi absolutely phenomenal and you will as you will see and again i'm sorry for getting a little carried away but this is going on for a number of years now four or five years and zero responses to this outstanding unbelievable incredible unimpeachable facts there is one dot of light here one dot of light and you'll see it whoa whoa roger what are you showing me what the hell is that well, my friend, that is that same light. That's the particle that was in there. I told you there's a particle in there. That's a particle. And why is it out here? It's accelerated away from its own interaction. And it is pulling ahead of everybody, the particle itself. All of this is reaction. This is a reaction to these particles. So what do we have now? We have an accelerated particle, and it is, it's really rocking now. And it, all the guys in front of it also own these big regions, and now they are, the bounce factor is in overdrive. So what are we doing? We're crushing everybody to just say, give me all the juice you got in you. And they squirt it all over the place, and it is squirting everywhere. Now, what is this? Now we're going to get into the particle physics part. Because you look at it, oh, this is nice, a little bunch of white stuff there, spraying off of that. Well, that's the interference patterns. No, it isn't. It has nothing to do with interference. This is a spin. This is a single slit Venturi. There's no two slits here. Why is this? Why are they spraying all over the place? Because light spins. It's a little spinner. It spins real tight. But once it hit here, whew, some spin that way, some spin under and go that way, some spin this way, this way, this way, and they make this. And I can prove this. I'm not just guessing. There it is right there. If you can't understand what you're seeing there, I, I don't know how I can possibly help you. The Venturi is way up here with us. All right, so there's a the Venturi. Boom. The light is coming through this Venturi, spinning, obviously. There's only a single Venturi. The whole thing spinning on down here like crazy. Some spins way over here, some spins way over here. The bulk of it spins in the middle. He had this semi twisted to this side because you can see there's more interactions over here than there is here. I mean, you don't have to split any atoms here, although maybe we are. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I can tell you one thing for a fact. Light is made of two particles, a dark and a light one. And I can prove that. All right, I said I don't want to show my stuff again, but the only way you can, they say the only way you can show credibility is the authority of the presenter. And here's what I did. So I don't know, you can take it for, this is thermochemistry. You want to, you can spend a little time here if you like, because there is a lot of it. And it goes on and on and on and on for a very, a very long time. I did this my whole life, and I never, ever stopped, and I never, ever will stop. And if you don't think that this is anything that has any validity, well, maybe I'm a doodler. That's all I do all day, doodling. I did a lot of doodling, all right? So, let's go forward. Here is 100% proof of what I'm saying. 100% proof. Those are the light particles. Those little white ones, those are literally the electron mass. Each one of them. There's a bazillion of them. Well, what is this? You see that little black dot? You see that little black dot? You see that little black dot? Black, 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 everywhere black. You see any black here? No. What is that? That's charge separation. That is... I don't know, you use antimatter, antiparticle, negative positiveness, I have no idea. I see two opposite charges. 
That's what I see. If you see something different, come to me. Because I have come to you, and you don't care. As long as you can make all your statements and everybody just say, oh, what a smart guys they are. Well, that's good. I don't care. Be smart as you want to be. But this is the, you see that, and say see that, and see nothing here. That's charge separation. That's the things you people are looking for. And I'm going to show you some. I can see something smaller than that. All right, I've, I've shown you a little bit of this so far, but this is the, just a standard red laser. That is accelerating. That's the particle. That's the cherry ink off. That's the interference patterns. I call them repulsion patterns. That's the Higgs and so forth, Higgs bosons and so forth. Now, this is a really interesting. This is a particle that is uh, obviously smaller than light. Something's happened here. The, the, one of these antiparticles concussed with one of the normal particles and, and gave that off. So explain that, please. Now, this is the one that tells you exactly what I showed you. And in my other show, I could see these dots have separated. How does that happen? They're apparently not attached. They're apparently just glued together. And then they can come apart. They call it the strong nuclear force, the weak nuclear force. I can go along with all of that. But we got to look at reality first, because if you just say, oh, yeah, that Einstein said this, and you got to stick with that, it's 100 years of nonsense, right? 100 years of nonsense, really, because just what's happened to me. I know there's other people. I'm not the smartest brick in a box, by any means. I'm, I fully admit that. So I have to assume there's been a zillion other people who just didn't have the freaking guts and the stamina to stand up against these people. So, again, I'm sorry, but I am fed up. Literally fed up. You can have to treat this any way you want. Well, again, I don't know if I've apologized yet for my outrageous behavior today, sort of screaming, but I, I you know, I'm getting upset. And this is, uh, this is the theory, and I'll come back to it, and I will dis discuss it in great detail, because it has, it needs to be understood. It hasn't even been looked at. They just, all this thing is gigantic proton, gigantic neutron, the rest is tiny little bits. Now they see everything's done. And now they're finding these particles, like this NASA Fermi finds vast halo around nearby pulsar. I can see that, and I understand that with this theory as well. My friend at NASA sends me all this stuff. I get it before almost anybody. <laughs> and, um, you know, and they are. Every day they're coming out with something. We really messed this one up. Boy, we, we didn't have an idea about that. Boy, there's got to be something new. Missing fundamentals, gravitational waves, all this stuff. So, anyway, we're going to get deeper into it. And again, I apologize for, you know, screaming. But maybe it'll work. <laughs>